Hey Shelby Bells, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. In today's video, you guys, I, I have to talk about Lisa Renna and the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. When you watch this video, the reunion, episode one of the reunion will have already aired, I believe. But as I'm filming this video, it has not aired yet and I have some thoughts about everything. We don't know what ha what's happened in the reunion yet, but you trust and believe, honey, that when the reunion comes, I'll be making a video about that too, okay? Um, so let, let's talk about Lisa Renna. If you're interested in hearing more about that drama, make sure that you keep on watching. Okay, before we get into today's video, if you are new here, my name is Shelby. I'm the crazy cat lady of the drama community here on YouTube. I bring you the tea seven days a week with the help of my investigative research team, Mr. and Miss Kitty. This is Mr. Kitty. He's really the face of the operation here on my channel he loves to be held loves to be cuddled loves to hang out on his throne here and then we have miss kitty she's really the brains of the operation she finds all the receipts and all the tea if you have a receipt for miss kitty you guaranteed it's the true tea the facts all of that mr kitty's not so good at getting the receipts you guys he sometimes will bring me clickbait half truths the tea that hasn't fully developed yet. So if we ever get a receipt like that from Mr. Kitty, I'm sorry, he's trying. You guys, give Mr. Kitty a break. Uh, he's doing the best that he can. But anyway, if you like the drama, if you like cats, if you like the tea, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos when they do post. Remember that all Shelby Bells ring the bell. Okay, let's get into today's drama. So if you have been keeping up with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills this season, then you already know, if you're a Beverly Hills fan or you're a Housewives fan, then you already know that Lisa Rinna is under a lot of scrutiny and a lot of criticism for how she has behaved this season. And she, Kathy Hilton seems like in the preview to the reunion that Kathy Hilton's gonna let her have it, gonna let her and tell her about herself and let her know exactly who she is because Lisa Rinna tried to bring down Kathy Hilton this season in The Real Housewives and Kathy's not having it. She's gonna defend herself, she's gonna stand up for herself and all that, okay? Um, Lisa, it just got me thinking, right? I was at home yesterday, today is Tuesday, I was at home yesterday and you know I was really tired I was trying to do some research for some videos this week and stuff and I was catching up on some Real Housewives tea uh, by watching the real Andy of Beverly Hills Sebastian Soto's husband uh, I love his channel I love both their channels um, and I was watching Andy's channel and he was he made a video that was about Lisa Renna, Lisa Renna being the most hated housewife and um, he mentioned that she's the most hated housewife since Kelly Dodd. And I, I know Kelly Dodd from the Rick and Kelly show here on YouTube, but I am currently watching The Real Housewives of Orange County and I'm on season seven yet. So I have not been introduced to Kelly yet um, on The Real Housewives of Orange County. So I can't really say yes or no to what Kelly Dodd has done. I don't like to, um, to, to, dive into what people's pasts are and stuff like that until I watch it in the series and just find it fun to watch it unfold like that. So I haven't gotten there yet, but um, she, Andy said she, she's the most hated housewife since Kelly Dodd. And so whatever that means, but in my opinion, I feel like she's the most hated housewife since Danielle Staub. And Danielle Staub, if you're not caught up on this, was on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Um, and she was a housewife for a couple seasons and then she was just a friend of the housewives for a, a very long time. And I absolutely disliked her more than I think any other housewife I have come across from watching Salt Lake City, from watching New Jersey, Beverly Hills, you know, Orange County, I just dislike her more than any of them combined, okay? I just felt like she was so attention seeking, so dramatic, so over the top, and I just couldn't stand her, right? So for me, I used to like Lisa Rinna a lot. How is this angle for the camera? It's not great, right? Do I care? I'm trying to find out if I care. I think this is comfortable for me, right? So I used to like Lisa Rinna a lot. I used to be really, really about Lisa Rinna. I thought she was hilarious and fun. I think her Instagram with the dancing and stuff is super cute and fun. And I really, I thought she was just a fun, kind of quirky little girl and energy that she brought to the show. I really did enjoy her. Now, I have to say that after watching her this season, things that Lisa Rinna has done in the past have kind of like been highlighted a little bit more to me and I'm kind of viewing them a little bit differently now. And also just pieces of the puzzle are getting put together for me. So 
what, the overall consensus that I've come to, and it's the same thing that Andy said on his channel, is that Lisa Rinna, her game in this series is to create drama for others so that her own personal drama is not highlighted. And so her skeletons don't come out. She's willing to pull down anybody and everybody around her to make sure that those people's skeletons come out and their drama gets aired and they come down but none of hers comes out. Because if you notice, we never see drama from Lisa Rinna. The only kind of drama that we've seen from Lisa, and correct me if I'm missing something, you guys, correct me in the comment section down below. If I'm missing one of the dramas that Lisa Rinna had, let me know. But I'm trying to think back, and I'm thinking that the only like real storylines we had based on Lisa Renna and stuff that goes on within her family, because all the ladies have their own dramas within their own families that tie into the, the whole series, right? The only thing that Lisa's had out there is Amelia's struggle with eating disorder and, um, and then her mom passing. Both horrible things, but those are the only two things that we've seen from Lisa Renna in the drama with her family. The, the the only other thing that I can remember that came up that caused a huge amount of drama was the let's talk about the husband thing with Kim Richards back in the day. And when that came up, and I think it was Lisa Rinna's first season on the Be Beverly Hills Housewives, when that, when that came up and Lisa freaked out, broke the glass, pointed at Kim, did the whole thing and, you know, all that, it was never, it, like, we never got to the bottom of what happened with the husband, Right? But Lisa Rinna is so quick to say that Kim Richards is going to die because she's an addict. You know, talk about Yolanda and Munchausen. You can't forget Munchausen's. Remember Dorit? She came for Dorit a lot about doing drugs in the bathroom, if you remember that. She gave her for that. You know, she, she's, she's come for, she's very, very microaggressive towards Garcelle. You know, she's come for Sutton, obviously. You know, she says things about Crystal and now it's Kathy and it's like, okay, so <laughs> everyone else can have you, you, Lisa, you're trying to, pro you try to create drama for so many people around you and stir up the pot for so many people around you. So that it's not focused on you. And I'm sorry, when you sign up for a reality show, like to be on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And the thing is, she's even said what I'm going to say right now. When you sign up to be on a show like the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or any reality show like that, you're signing up to put your life on TV. You're signing up to put your life on TV. And it seems like Lisa Rinna, she's even said that, by the way. She, oh, and oh, let's not forget, oh my God, I must forgot. She, Lisa Vanderpump, she came for, she came for Lisa Vanderpump. The whole Lucy Applejuice thing was Rena. I don't think that was LVP for a second now. I really don't. I think that Lisa Vanderpump was probably above all that bullshit. But Lisa Rena stirring the pot behind the scenes, trying to create drama for everybody and, and all these things, caused drama for Dorit. And in another way, she caused drama for Dorit. And it's just, like Lisa Renna will do anything she can to avoid, you know, her glass house being looked into. But when you sign up for a reality show, you're signing up for your glass, for your house to be made of glass and for people to look in and see what's really going on. But we never hear anything about Harry Hamlin. We, we hear him and we hear what he's doing for work and stuff. We never hear any of the drama. That happens in the relationship and trust you me i'm sure they have problems in the relationship they've been married for a million years we, relationships have issues we never hear about any of that we only we've heard about her, the daughter and we've heard about the mom and that's all we've heard and please correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section down below but i can't think of anything else we've heard of and so for me i i think that if lisa renna is not going to commit to letting us see what's really going on in her life and if she doesn't agree to stop you know, pushing drama about everybody else, not looking at her own self. If she doesn't do that, then I don't think she needs to be on the housewife show anymore. I don't think she needs to be there. I just don't think she needs to be there. I think she needs to find something else to do, you know? And then for Lisa to say, you know, <laughs> this is what really was funny. She said that, you know, um, that, that Kathy was so jealous of the Kardashians. Have y'all seen the way that Lisa is dressed for the reunion? She's dressed like a Kardashian. It looks like she got her makeup done by, by Mario. 
or freaking Ariel that does Kylie's makeup. It looks like she got her makeup done by one of the Kardashian makeup artists. It really does. And I'll be interested to see if they show, you know, her getting her makeup done, if it is one of them. Because it looks like it was done by them, straight up. Lisa doesn't look like that, how she how she's portrayed in the reunion, it, down to the wig and everything. And she wore the wig a couple times this season. I recognized it. It's like, like, come on, with the, the leopard dress and all that. She, she, Kathy's jealous of the Kardashians, mama, look at you. And then you're, you're up Kendall Jenner's ass about that damn tequila, that nasty tequila. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I like tequila. I've tried the 818 tequila by Kendall Jenner, and I have tried Casa del Sol, the Kathy Hilton tequila. And I'm gonna tell you something right now, the Casa del Sol is good. If you can find it at a restaurant or the liquor store or whatever, grab you a bottle of Casa del Sol, because it's actually pretty good. Casa del Sol Reposado is delicious. The Anejo Casa del Sol, we did a tasting at my job, and um, Casa del Sol Anejo is so good. It tastes like chocolate. It's so good. It would make such a good dessert cocktail. It's ridiculous. It's still, or just on a big ice ball or something. It is incredible, okay? And the, the Anejo, I'm sorry, the Reposado has these beautiful vanilla oaky notes to it. It's, it, it, it's good tequila, dude. It's good tequila. And um, the 818 tequila is not good. It's just not, you know? And so for, I don't know, I'm getting on a rant here. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about Lisa Renna. Do you think that she should stay on the Housewives? Do you think she needs to go? What are your opinions on that? Do you think, like Andy said, that she is the most hated housewife since uh, Kelly Dodd? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think on that. I'd love to hear from you. And that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos when they do post. Remember that all Shelby Bells ring the bell. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, YouTube should be suggesting a couple more down here for you to choose from. So I'd love it if you did that. And aside from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.